1943 Consolation Jan June, by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society is not a traditional novel but rather a compilation of articles and publications from that period. However, it is a significant historical document that offers valuable insights into the religious and socio-political climate of the time, particularly within the context of the Jehovah's Witnesses movement. In this analysis, we will explore the content, themes, and historical context of this publication. The period covered in 1943 Consolation Jan June falls within the midst of World War II. The Jehovah's Witnesses, as a religious group, were experiencing significant challenges during this time due to their pacifist beliefs and refusal to participate in military service. These challenges are reflected in the publication's content. The central theme of this compilation is the resilience of faith and the unwavering commitment of Jehovah's Witnesses to their beliefs in the face of adversity. The articles highlight the struggles, persecution, and legal battles faced by Jehovah's Witnesses during the war, as many governments saw their refusal to participate in the war effort as unpatriotic. This theme of faith under pressure is a recurring motif throughout the publication. One of the striking aspects of 1943 Consolation Jan June is its unflinching commitment to pacifism. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society use this publication to reinforce its stance on nonviolence and to encourage its members to remain steadfast in their refusal to engage in military service. The publication showcases numerous stories of Jehovah's Witnesses who faced imprisonment, discrimination, and even physical violence for their conscientious objection to war. These stories are meant to inspire and strengthen the faith of the readers. Another key theme in the compilation is the idea of separation from the world. Jehovah's Witnesses are portrayed as a community that, despite persecution, adheres to a strict code of conduct and moral values, living in accordance with their interpretation of the Bible. This separation from the world's affairs is depicted as a way to maintain their purity and spiritual integrity. The publication underscores the importance of remaining, no part of the world, a concept deeply rooted in the beliefs of Jehovah's Witnesses. The historical context in which 1943 Consolation Jan June was published is essential to understanding its significance. During World War II, governments in various countries perceived the Jehovah's Witnesses as a threat to national unity due to their refusal to salute flags, serve in the military, or participate in other patriotic rituals. This resulted in widespread persecution and legal action against Jehovah's Witnesses in many nations. The publication serves as a record of the trials and legal battles faced by Jehovah's Witnesses during this tumultuous period. It also reflects the organization's determination to use its publications as a means of communication and encouragement for its members. The articles in this compilation are not merely informational but are designed to strengthen the resolve of Jehovah's Witnesses and emphasize the importance of their faith even in the face of persecution. In terms of style, 1943 Consolation Jan June adheres to the typical writing style of Watchtower publications. The language is formal, didactic, and strongly rooted in biblical references. It seeks to present a doctrinal standpoint while providing real-life examples to illustrate the teachings and beliefs of the Jehovah's Witnesses. The tone is resolute and unwavering, emphasizing the necessity of adherence to their interpretation of Scripture. In conclusion, 1943 Consolation Jan June is a unique historical document that offers a window into the challenges faced by the Jehovah's Witnesses during World War II. It emphasizes the themes of faith under pressure, pacifism, and separation from the world. By providing first-hand accounts of persecution and legal battles, 
the publication serves as both a historical record and a source of encouragement for Jehovah's Witnesses. It underscores the unwavering commitment of the Jehovah's Witnesses to their beliefs and their willingness to endure hardships for the sake of their faith.